Um, I was going to say, that Chinese restaurant that's downstairs in the food court is actually linked to that restaurant that you had dinner at. Right, okay. So the food quality isn't bad, but it's just Bain Marie, like, you know. Your automatic judgment of it is going to be lower, regardless of if it's the same at a restaurant yeah. or not. Yeah. But the restaurants are, are quality, man. Like, yeah. even the Conservatory or the Atlantic. I love Conservatory, man. I haven't been there for years. I love it. Have I you never gone though. for dinner at the Conservatory? I'll take you, John. Don't worry. I'll come. Oh, thanks. <laughs> we'll go. I'll dress up, get a sundress on All just you for can. you. <laughs> Spray tan. <laughs> Spray tan. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks up in a tux. No, no lines dim just for you. <laughs> tucks and a fade. That's disgusting. Tucks and a tuck. <laughs> <laughs> you should go. I, look, yeah, no, I just I don't go into this city often at all. It's worth it's worth a trip. Even like conservatory, like even the Atlantic or the the Den, which is a bar at the bottom of the Atlantic, which is really cool. But even like the casino area itself, mm. if you haven't gone, if you don't go often or never go, yeah. even just seeing it is mm. like impressive. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. It's, like, like, it's like an, um, it's like an attraction inside of a building, basically. Yeah. It kind of gives okay. you that vibe. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah, you sort of stand there and you just look around like, Jesus, like this is chaos. Like this yeah. is people everywhere, movement. Sounds. Everyone's pumped. Like, yeah, there's bars and music and like just people laughing. Like everyone's generally in a good mood until that 3 a.m. sort of hits mm, mm. and it's last call. <laughs> it's I've, I've never actually seen any city. kind of violence there. Where in Crown? Yeah, but I usually get out in time. I don't think I've ever seen violence in Crown. Mm. You see it outside, like past the cab ranks, because everyone's finding a find cab to get home. Oh, see, I don't. But again, I leave before no, usually the, 12. The private helicopter picks you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just land anywhere. Don't worry about them. <laughs> we got a we got a two seater for Mr. Andy. <laughs> Yo, but it's a seven seater. Cu- <laughs> I, like I, like, to, I like to put them down. <laughs> I, I like to put my legs up. That's just gonna happen now. You're such a dick. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because I can. Because <laughs> I can. I don't know. Do you feel... What do you reckon the city needs? Do you reckon it needs anything? Like, we've got the aquarium. We've got museums, which no one visits, yeah. which they should. Don't Well, how many of your friends have ever said, I'm going to the museum? When there's special exhibits, yes. No. <laughs> Never. Certain maybe friends one, of mine. Maybe one, yeah, maybe one. Certain friends of mine will go. Yeah, certain. But that's what I'm saying. It's not promoted. No. The way they promote Crown or the way they promote anything else. I think they still kind of promote it with those posters in the city. You know, like, you see, like, seven of them in a row and then yeah, that's it. I, I well, I, I had a choice <laughs> of, uh, you know, how they had oh the, the Monopoly Maccas? Yeah. I had a choice Where of either... It? No, go. I had a choice of either free tickets to the aquarium or free tickets to a game of bowling. Oh, you actually won that? Yeah, what do you think I picked? Bowling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to think. Are you serious? I won it twice. And I picked bowling twice. You're kidding. <laughs> no. got there. Can I just extend the session with the second one? <laughs> Ball? No, you can't do that. Can I have free hot dog? All right. <laughs> just give me a six pack of dons. Hot dogs worth four bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Priceless art from Geneva. You know what I mean? And fucking- you get to take one home with you? No, nah, nah. yeah. the, the hot dog comes with cheese, yeah. <laughs> I get an hour of bowling, you say. <laughs> Bumpers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ten frames, you say. <laughs> Drink included. <laughs> Coke. <laughs> Post mix. <Coke. laughs> and it's not even sweet because it hasn't mixed properly. <laughs> They've put enough powder. The soda water. That's the worst when that happens. It's like. What it's the hell are we water. doing here, man? It's just straight soda water. like Yeah, with powder. Yeah. Yeah, that's what all that stuff is. Post mix, that's what it's yeah, called. Yeah, but when they don't put enough of the powder, it's disgusting. Because it's like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked. I was just going to say, actually, I, was, I thought of you the other day. I won, um, I won two tickets to a George Capanaris show in the oh, middle yeah. of January yeah. down in Rosebud. Do you want them? No, no. Why not? George Capanaris. It's the part of the Mornington Peninsula Comedy Festival thing. I wouldn't go. Mick would probably go. What, even in Rosebud? Yeah, he would probably go, maybe. You reckon? Yeah, I'd say so. Because I might have an issue. He actually, he likes him. I'm a bit over that stuff. Oh, over Capanaris. I'm going this Saturday to uh, Johnny Vincent Sam's. Oh, the the uh, sushi mango guy. Yeah, I'm going there to the to the restaurant. Why? This, uh, 
want to check it out. I want to get a... It's literally what you eat at your house. Yeah, but I want to get a chicken cotoletta. What's that? Chicken sizzle. Italian style. What's Italian style? It's got a wedge of lemon on it. <laughs> Are you, you and it's deep fried in nice oil. Olive oil. You better be kidding. Yeah. That's what an Italian chicken schnitzel is. Yeah. I see the. No, I don't know what I'm going to get. I'll see what the menu is. I see the reviews and the photos online. Mm. And I'm like, this just looks like my auntie's house in the 80s. Well, that's what the, the whole reviews? point. Are they actually decent? Or is it fanboys just being like, eh? Fanboys. I, I don't know. I've never actually. Hang on. I, from what I get, What's like, I have, I've never. Johnny Vincent Sams. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's supposed to be that. It's supposed to be like, yeah, like a home cooked oh, yeah. meal. Yeah, I get the and all the like the decor. I saw the, is supposed I saw to be it. Yeah. I saw yeah. the decor. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. like they have like um, it's a bit like it's even interactive. Apparently, like they they do like uh, I don't know if I want to do. They got like live music, but it's like you know the it's the, an old guy with an accordion yeah, playing yeah. tarantella nonstop. <laughs> hey, well done. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a play that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it's just a wedge of lemon <laughs> on the darts. All right, the so Italian like, style. So, do you want to go? The reviews on Google got eight hundred eighty-three reviews. It's sitting in a solid. That's a lot of reviews for how quick for how. It's only been open what two months? More, oh, probably about four months, five months. Four. That's still a lot of reviews. It is a lot of reviews. Okay, it's sitting at a solid. Go to newest. Go to four, newest. Four point seven. That's, not That's bad. high. That's not bad. Newest. Newest. All right, newest. Yeah. Uh, I think people would be pretty on the nose for food because we don't tolerate crap here. Okay, are you ready? I'm not saying. Sure. I, I'm not like. I'm not saying that it is like I haven't been. I'll tell you once I eat there, and I'll tell you. If the it's good newest or not. review was 13 hours ago. Yes. Okay. One star. Oh. Paid twelve dollars for a bottle of sparkling water. The mm. cannoli was watery. How can a cannoli be watery? Yeah. What? What? It wouldn't be. Uh, we were rushed out to make way for others. $210 for two mains, two starters, and three glasses of wine. You got me once. $210 for two mains, two starters. Two, Shit. Two mains, you're looking between 30, 30 to 50 bucks, depending yeah. on what you're buying. Like steak would be 50 bucks. Look at the menu. Now, hang on, hang on. Uh, well, dip, 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 dip. Hang on, hang on. Let's get, let's get through a couple of these. <laughs> okay. Next review was 22 hours ago. One star. Oh. Heard all the hype and decided to visit on Saturday afternoon. The decor you cannot fault. It is priceless and brings back so many memories. However, the food was the biggest downfall. I had the spaghetti meatballs and it was a letdown. The pasta was sticky and tasted like two-minute noodles and the sauce was not satisfying at all. We also had the pizza, which was better than the pasta, but very small and not a lot of toppings. I personally won't be returning and I would not recommend. So it's a gimmick. Okay. Don't wash their pasta. Next one. Over, over-starched um, water. Five stars with no words. Next one was a day ago. Five stars. I absolutely loved how you took me on a journey back to my nonna sala. Salotto for the calabresi. The phone, the doilies. What does that mean? Salotto. Uh, couch. Ah. Nonna's, yeah, nonna's couch. The phone, the doilies, the lamp stands, the chairs, the Art Deco glass dividers. The Art Deco glass dividers. The carpet. You know that, that my old lady's uh, house had that? Glass divider, that orange glass divider. I remember oh, yeah. when I first bought it, I walked in and sussed it out. That's the first thing I saw. I go, we've got to keep this. Like, we can't get rid of these. <laughs> um, the carpet, I could just go on and on. And then you blended that with great music, vibrant staff, and home style meaning that was easy, easy and yummy. Thank you for the experience. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I think, like, they've opened the restaurant because they're trying to bring back Ligon Street as it was, which John, is very hard. I hate to be the, I hate to, um, uh, Shit on your on your Christmas, but well, they've opened a restaurant because they can make money. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's got nothing. To they've do got, with they've got a community that will follow. It's got nothing to do with yeah. Ligon. They came yeah. out. And they complained that the Ligon Street Festival yeah. was moved somewhere else. Yeah, and blah 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 blah. And we've done so much for this street, and now you're doing this, dude. They're making money. But that, like, if I had their marketability, I'd be mm. doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. well, look. once you build your community, that's it. You're sold. Yeah. <laughs> People will go there and pay ninety dollars for a plate of herring. Case. Like it doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, I'm getting dragged. I'm actually getting dragged into it. So, all right, I'll give you another review. All I right. might be. I might be having hot dogs on Saturday just to get out of it. <laughs> this is three days ago. Yeah, I definitely do not recommend dining at this restaurant. One star. The prices on their menu is overpriced for what you get. My husband ordered a two fifty scotch fillet and it was forty two dollars. Nothing else was served with it. No vegetables. No salads. Just a little piece of lemon. <laughs> it was Italians and lemon, and a few strands of parsley to decorate the plate. 
Two fifty for a Scotch fillet steak. Uh, two fifty grams, forty two bucks. That's With high. nothing else, no nothing sides. Else. That's high. Oh, that's brutal for two fifty grams. That's a actually, Scotch fillet. Yeah. yeah. Mm. As a side, he ordered the potatoes with the peppers, which was an extra sixteen bucks, and there there were only two little pieces of potato and four small strands of peppers. As a drink, he ordered a seven fifty bottle of Coke, and this was seven dollars fifty. Fuck. Jeez. I ordered the Angela's Arancini, and the waitress brought it out. I was absolutely shocked. There were four little balls served in a squishy bowl, and I could have played marbles with them. This is such a good review. Um, <laughs> uh, the arancini was so dry and hard, they were bland and no fillings in them. Like dry arancini. There we go. Full circle. Yeah. <laughs> and no fillings in them like stated in the menu. Only had mozzarella cheese. Where was the rice and peas, for God's sake? And where was the bolognese sauce like proper Italian arancinis are supposed to be made of? Arancinis were 16 bucks. How can anybody justify these appalling prices for what you get on a plate? We still felt hungry when we left the restaurant. Certainly would not recommend them to anyone. And my, f- and this is in capitals. And my final say is to anyone who thinks of dining at this restaurant, if you want to lose weight or waste your money, then this place is highly recommended. There you go, John. Shed a couple. I'll okay. join you. So typically it's like five star, five star, five star, five star, four star. Um, but some of these five stars you're saying have no comments on them, which is... No, a, a lot of them do. So, some. some. They'll say the same thing. Takes you for a walk down memory lane, food like at your nonna's house. But I cook like I'm at my grandma's yeah, house. 250 gram steak is 42 bucks. But that's what I mean. Snapper. Dude, like, like I get the novelty of it, right? Yeah. And it would be cool walking into like a place that looks like, you know, like it was in the 80s. I get it. Like I'm all about nostalgia and I'm all into that sort of shit. I haven't got a problem. That isn't the problem. The problem is the meal. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're trying to approach it from like a traditional sense, how many of their grandmothers would give you four little balls of arancini? You would have a fucking platter you would, of it in front I of your remember, face. I remember, dude, I, I share this with my relatives when I see them. If I see someone I haven't seen in a while, like overseas, my great aunt, my grandmother's sister, um, when I was in 2009-10, when I was in Greece, I was staying with them, like this particular family for a while. Uh, I was staying on the top floor. It's like three levels, three or four levels. The grandparents were down the bottom, right? At that point, her, hu- her husband had passed away, so it was just her. She found out I was staying. Like, I'd come back from the village and stayed there. I woke up at like 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning, whatever. I've gone into the kitchen, and she's there. She's climbed four stairs, sets of stairs, right? She was in her 80s. Climbed four sets of stairs, and she had a big fucking, like, salad bowl worth of keftedas. Mm. And she's here. Like, I made you gift She's been like, going okay, since, like, yeah. Okay, I'm going to eat gift. I go, when did you do this? She goes, oh, it was breakfast. You know, I go, I'm going to eat this for breakfast. She goes, you're going to eat. Like, you're going to eat. Like, you need a breakfast. You're a growing boy. I was 25. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, and she made me eat, like, these gift like, in front of her, man. They were delicious. But, dude, like, a full fucking salad bowl worth, man, mm. for breakfast. That's probably, like, my, yeah, my favorite memory of her. But I get the novelty of, of going to this place. But at the same time, I had someone years ago say to me, oh, I had dinner at like the in-laws, you know, last night or whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah, how'd that go? Oh, no, nah, good, you know, like, it's always good, nice to get a, a, a decent feed. I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, you know, like getting like a proper home-cooked meal. I'm like, what are you eating? That's what I said to him. Like, I'm confused. What are you eating? This is when I just moved into my place. Mm. So I was cooking like all my mum's staples, like for the first, yeah. first year when I was learning how to cook properly. It was all staples, like the shit that we grew up eating before yeah. I started experimenting with salt and spice and whatever. I cook half the meals that these guys are cooking in their kitchens. Mm. Like, they're, they're not, I can't pay top dollar for something that we all grew up eating. But it's not top dollar because I'm looking at the prices and the most expensive thing on the menu is the steak, which is $42. Everything else is well below $30. But how much for a plate of pasta? That up right now. Uh... You're taking it personally. No, 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 because <laughs> no, because just like I'm the first person to say Callum Barris is ripping people off. Oh yeah, no, no, I agree. No, but because I'm like of the I'm of the thought that nothing is ever five stars and nothing is ever one star. It always is in the middle. So just like you can't believe all five star reviews, I can't always believe a one star review. No, I agree. Yeah, okay, I'm not going because that could just place. be someone who went there expecting one thing. And didn't realise the whole thing is the experience of, like, the, the, the decor, the music. Yeah, yeah. They even, like, 
you look at the, a lot of the shorts and there's always like the whole restaurant singing along to old Italian songs from the 60s. You know? Fuck that. There's probably an Aussie it. couple that sat down. Oh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> no, I couldn't do it either. No way. Yeah. <laughs> What's that song they always sing at the weddings? I don't know. There's a lot. No, no. There's the one that they... I'm not singing anything. I'm not asking you to sing. I'm just asking for the name of the song. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to look it up. Um, <laughs> in Old Napoli. Is that it? No, that's... Um, I can't dun, remember. Dun, 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 dun. No. No, 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 no. Um... Italian song. So you could easily get someone who went there with one expectation, yeah. expecting fine dining, and then like, no, well, that wasn't fine. That's like, the hardest like, part about reviews is that exactly. it's, everyone's got an opinion, and it's going to be different. It's just like we were saying before about the, the keyboards and that. You know, like... Some people like blue, some people like red. Uh, yes. Is it Luna um, met some money? No. Is it? The passes are a little bit expensive. How much? <laughs> the cheapest one is 24? no, they're more expensive. Twenty seven is the cheapest. The most expensive is thirty four, but that's a seafood one. That's uh, that's say, seafood. That's a, that is a little bit pricey. Gnocchi. There we go. I found it. Gnocchi at thirty two. Second stanza. Pass and broccoli is twenty eight. I'm going to be paying twenty eight for pass and broccoli. How much? 28 for pasta, broccoli. <laughs> broccoli pasta. That's broccoli, like I mean, white. Broccoli like two bucks a kilo. Yeah, exactly. I'll make that at home when i got nothing to cook. Yeah. You know? I would be paying 28. That's legit the only song I ever hear at Italian weddings. I've only ever heard that song in general. <laughs> Dude, that's it. <laughs> pasta with meatballs. Spaghetti meatballs is 29. Yeah, no, there's no way I'd pay that. I love how the gluten-free pasta is an additional $3. Of course. <laughs> Tastes worse. Additional money. Pizzas are actually... Decent, but so apparently, price. But how much? Uh, starts at twenty four and goes up to thirty. I still think that's a little pricey. Well, it's Italian pizza because from the pictures, it's like the is that actually? Price. Yeah, apparently wood fire. Yes. Oh, it is wood fire. Yeah. See, I pay pretty good money for my pizza when I have it, but I mean, well, like it's good. Here's a question. Well, I, hold, sorry, did you book to go have dinner? There? You can't book there. You uh, go. You go. walking only. Yeah, you go in and you put your name down. How long do you have to wait? Well, if you go early, you can get in pretty much straight away. What's early? One p.m. No, I think from five ish. Why do they do that shit? Because I think then it'd just be always booked out. Is that out. an Italian and, thing? No, no. It's just I think people would miss out if there was always bookings. Because an Italian restaurant in, in Chadston does that too. I tried to book, and they're like, "No, you book at the reception." Well, look, when I went to, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> just put my name down, you dickhead. Yeah, I think it's just so that people don't miss out because there could just be people that always... It makes it too exclusive, possibly. If that makes sense. Because then you could... Well, like, fuck, then I just not go anybody sushi. Could, not anyone can just walk off the street and go, let's check, try this place out. Oh, sorry, we're booked out. Makes it too exclusive. I copped that in Singapore. I copped that in Hawaii. I was in sorry, Singapore. You, there's a six-month waiting list to get in. I that. I just fucking walk away. I was... Yeah, I, I went upstairs. I tried to go to this place in Singapore that's right at Mandalay Bay, like mm. the top of the, the things, and I walked in randomly... Last year, when I was in the when I was on my way to the Philippines, and they said, "Oh no, we're booked out." Like, sorry, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. You got to book in advance. I'm like, oh, okay. So I jumped, and then realizing, hey, I'm going back. I'll be in Singapore again. I'll book, you know, a table or whatever, like a spot. Don't accept bookings within the three month, outside of a three month period of the thing. So I put a reminder in my phone to go off at the three month period. Waited, waited, waited. Bang, three months come up. Even with the time frames, I figured it out. When is it actually three months in Singapore? Jumped online. Yeah, sorry, uh, it's all closed. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what? So I can't, like, how could it possibly book out in the 15 minutes that it's been open? Contacted them. Uh, yeah, I think there's like a private function on <laughs> that entire time. Look, what do you mean, man? Like, twice I've been to Singapore in 12 months, can't get into this joint. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I told you when I went to Hawaii, we wanted to go to that restaurant, and it was downstairs, and it's on the beachfront, and it's like, sorry, it was a six-month waiting list for a booking. You can come in at one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, leave your name. It's a seven-hour waiting. Leave your name number. It's a seven-hour seven. wait to just walk in if you leave your name, but we don't start taking like names at five o'clock. Like, well, it's going to be midnight. I don't want dinner at midnight. So we went upstairs, and there was another restaurant in the same building, mm. and they were above them. Like, uh, do you make bookings? Sure. When do you want? Uh, tomorrow night for dinner for two at six o'clock? Sure. Done. We went there and even better view because it was like over the on whole top, ocean. Yeah, 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 on yeah. Top. Do you know where I went in uh, Madrid? I went to the world's 
oldest running restaurant. Who? Yeah. I didn't know about it. Old Simo told me about mm. it. He's <laughs> like, yeah, you should go. Because I loved it. La, 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 la. Real uh, rustic meals and like old world shit. I'm like, okay. So How old to, are we talking? <laughs> yeah. I went to suss it out and they're like, oh, you need bookings like from weeks in advance. I'm like, what are you talking about? So then I bar- bartered with them basically. Like, what are you having? Like, what time are you going to come? Okay, not late. Like lunch. I'll come for lunch if, if it means I get a table. Yeah, yeah, okay. We can figure out something for lunch. Okay, cool. Got there. At the t- I got there like 40 minutes before they told me to be there just to make sure. Sat down. Looked at the menu, nothing crashed hot on the menu. The prices were interesting. The food wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best. It wasn't definitely wasn't the best meal. I, I've completely forgotten what well, I had. Well, they're using old world uh, ingredients, like uh, recipes. There's probably no salt. <laughs> salt probably hadn't even been invented yet. <laughs> it wasn't cultivated yet. <laughs> it was probably before they started having the Middle Eastern influence too. You're an idiot. I'm just saying, before, there was like the Moorish influence. All I know is I sent the menu to Old Simo, and straight away he fired up in the messages. He's like, what the hell is this? Because where's the seared hair? Where's it? Like, he starts naming all this, all this shit. What are you talking about? It's, like, it's what I had when I was there, like years <laughs> earlier. Because ah, they've, they've gone to you shit. You went to the second... Where are you? Did you type it in? <laughs> you went to the second oldest restaurant <laughs> in the world. <laughs> it's actually the other one, Tim. I was down. <laughs> but, dude, the place was packed. Yeah crammed mm. and there was a crowd outside like they were waiting to see you know Pavarotti or something mm. there was people lining up yeah it wasn't cheap yeah it wasn't the most expensive thing I've ever eaten but it wasn't cheap do you think that goes into what we were talking about the other oh, I was going on my rant about like people re- like relying on your reputation and name do you think it goes, leans into that like because it had a name once it's marketing it ju- it's, it's marketable so they can continue it and there's enough people that will just lap it up here's a question Hello, welcome. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you Indian? How long? How long do you reckon this Johnny Vincent Sam? Depends how, how long. How long do you reckon it'll last? Before it gets taken over or before it closes? Before, before the novelty. Before it gets taken over and then before it closes. I give it a couple of years. What's a couple of years? <laughs> Some Chinese people buy it out. Hey, cowboy, <laughs> welcome. I think it depends. Like maybe minimum. <laughs> MSG on this everything. Johnny, this fancy mum shame. Yeah. <laughs> Not racist at all. <laughs> I reckon minimum at maybe two to three years. Two to three years. Yeah, you're giving two to three years on this restaurant. Sure, I'll say end of next year. <laughs> you reckon? I reckon end of, end of next year. Well, cool. I wouldn't go past. Quality next will year. keep dropping. It won't increase. You reckon? Yeah. yeah. Qu- quality never improves in a restaurant. No, it starts strong, and if it stays strong, it'll be there. It'll never, it'll never oh, stay strong. Okay. Oh. They'll start losing their like fanboys, you know, because they'll go once and then be like, "Ah, hey, we've done it once, whatever." And then that's it. Once the foot, foot traffic slows down, the quality is going to start going down to meet but costs. There's one thing you can rely on: Ligon Street. They were going missing. That two. <laughs> Lovely women on the streets looking for money. That three. <laughs> Indians in caps, cutting you off. That four. <laughs> <laughs> there's one thing. There's Business is closing down. Yeah, five. <laughs> no. Fuck off. What do you mean? No. No. Ligon is a burgeoning street. Nah. When was the uh, last time you went to Ligon? <laughs> uh, the Terminus is gone. The beacon of Ligon, Ligon Street. Yeah, that's true. Um, I was shattered when that this. Mondo Music's gone, man. That was the beacon of Ligon Street. Mondo Music's gone? It's been gone for 20, like 15 <laughs> years. Once that went, it all went downhill. I went to a bike sale. And then do when, you want to uh, drink? Me? No, nah, no, nah, leave it. Hold on, hold on. Um... There's ple- there's if you one one clientele you can always rely on that will always eat Italian Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just spit on my bike here? <laughs> yeah, oh, he spat on himself. And a li- Chinese people. Yeah. Why why can you rely on Chinese people to eat they Italian? They love Italian food. Why? They just do. Is that like Every- Jews like Chinese food because yeah. it's kosher. Probably I don't know, but they just love it. Yeah, that's why a lot of Ligon Street's not gone down, but basically they loved it so much they started investing in restaurants there and buying it out, buying places out, and they just turned them into Chinese restaurants and so forth, or they couldn't keep up with the quality. What are you doing? I got it everywhere. And basically a lot of the Italian restaurants that were there sold out, and they took it over, and they just, like, when you, your favorite fish and chip shop mm-hmm. was Greek. Fantastic. Then it gets taken over by somebody else. They try to keep it as close as possible, but it's not quite the same. 
Then they sell it to someone else. John's very passionate about fast food. Very. <laughs> very cheap, greasy I noticed food. a lot with, um, like, like Suvo places, grilled meat Suvo Greek places. They get taken over by yeah. Indians a lot now. Yeah, because it's the next wave. Mm. Yeah. It, there's, it's, it's just the next wave, man. It's just surprisingly, there's a... Um, the place in Clay, in the fish and chip shop, which was originally Greek, next to the Greek um, deli. You know the one on Centre Road? The second strip shop? Second load of strip shops? Hang on. Where wait, River Quay is. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there was a fish and chip shop there. It's still there. I've never been there. It's on the beautiful. Corner. Yeah, no, it's in the middle. It's next to the... It's next to the chemist. No, it's further down. It's it's. Uh, There's like a shisha joint. It's the, it's in between the shisha and the laundromat. I think. I have never been to that. It's fish and very chip shop. nice. So that has changed hands at least six or seven times. It hasn't been Greek for like twenty years. I remember walking to school or walking to the shops or whatever. Yeah. And passing it and thinking, who in their right mind? It looked like it was just gone. Nah. So what's happened is, I don't know. Maybe the original. Owners put some sort of little clause or something in a country that must be passed on. Wait, are you talking about the one next to the car wash? No. Um, Where are you talking? Clayton. Oh, Cl- I thought you- oh, Centre Road. Right. Centre Road. Right, 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 right. River Kwai. Four yes. doors down. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, three doors from like the, the Greek deli. Yeah, no, sorry. Which I, is now I, Sri Lankan. Yeah. It's still Greek, but Sri Lankans own it. Oh, yeah, the original yeah. owner. I didn't He disappeared years ago. Oh, I yeah, I just found out, like, what? Okay. No, he sold that and got rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically... Sure, I can say that now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so they've mm. taken... A, it hasn't been Greek in at least 15 years, I would say. Mm. And it has changed hand multiple times. There's always, like, a Greek lady who works there. Where, in the deli or in the... No, no, in the fish, the fish and chip shop. Yeah. The quality... Has never changed. It is still exactly the same. The burgers are still fantastic. The flake is always crunchy. I've never had the chips are always there. crunchy, and it's as if like they've done something like in a clause, like you have to. This is a recipe. You stick to it. You cannot go down in quality, and it's always been consistent, which is never happens with like any takeaway Johnny shop. Johnny Vincent Sam's will be in the ground in twelve months. In Look, the administration, the fish and chip shop will be going strong. They'll take it over. <laughs> T, Nook, and, uh, I don't know, Tam. Wait, no, it's, did you say Nook as in N-G-O-C? Yeah. It's not. That's a, oh, okay. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not, I thought it was Nook, it's Nop. Nop. Yeah. <laughs> nop. So T, Nook, and Fams. Restaurant. Restaurante. <laughs> Restaurante. He's saying T as in T-H-U-Y? T-H-I. Oh. T-H-I. T. T. T, yeah. Yeah. What did you think it was? I was having. I was. Tr- I was gonna. I was gonna have a crack. I thought he was trying to pronounce T H U Y. T H U. It's Twee. Twee. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were given this funny look when I tried uh, uh, pronouncing a Russian name. Tron. Well, why I assumed was like a J. Y. Yeah. I can't remember the name now. Well, no, no, it's not because Vladimir is spelled with Y's. My mate's but name it was. It was a name that starts with a J. Hang on. The name starts with a J or with a Y? The name is obviously like a John. It's John. But it wasn't John. But it was like a name that is pronounced like in English, John or... Gelatomir. Gelatomir. Yeah, exactly. Gelatomir. <laughs> and I pronounced it apparently... <laughs> I, stupid shit I, I pronounced it apparently how a Ukrainian would pronounce it. And the look I got given was like... Kill him! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know that's Ukrainian pronunciation? Oh, sorry, I, I just took a guess. You know they're at war at the moment. No. What's even going on there? <laughs> I don't know. No, I was talking about it the other day with someone. No I don't know, cares. but petrol's dropping, so keep it up. <laughs> yeah, it is actually dropping. It's because there's no interest in it. That's why now. You reckon? Yeah, people... They, are, they, again, marketing. Yeah. <laughs> the war has got the wrong marketing. Yeah, there's marketing departments behind wars, man. It's called propaganda. TikTok reels. Yeah. <laughs> the TikTok division. The armory. <laughs> the cavalry. TikTok. We had a girl at work who started wearing... Fire the, the shorts! The, <laughs> she, start, she, <laughs> she started wearing ribbons in her hair with the Palestinian colours. Oh. Didn't go down well with the, a lot of customers. Really? Even the, the owners. It's like, you're at work, no political statements here. Yeah, well, that's yeah. typically what and it did is. Did she yeah. listen or no? Uh, she was very outspoken, apparently, with one of the directors. Hmm. And it was like, you take it off or you can go home. How stupid can people be? You're Very. at work. Yeah. Don't bring politics into work. It's sure. so simple. Yeah. 
Did you listen to all of Old Simo's episode? Yes. Very good. Did you listen to it? I think you did. No. You're into, you're into politics. I don't listen to you. No, no, true. I was just- <laughs> He only listens to the solo so he can scrub hard. <laughs> yeah, that never has never left my mind. Not really. <laughs> Mate, no, you know, just like I'm picturing. <laughs> yeah, what's that you were saying? No, no. Uh, I, I was going to say, I was on Insta just before, I was doom scrolling, I think, when I was waiting mm. for you guys to pull up. And someone had put up something about. Um, That's a lie you were playing. Anyway, go on. No, it was loading times. Oh. No. <laughs> it's a PS3, man. It's loading times. <laughs> um. I was just doom scrolling. And I saw 58%. He looks at his phone. No, no, no. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Look up. 58%. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 58, 79, 81, 90, 91, 92, 82. 79, 80, 90. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. And I was just looking through it and someone had put up some video of like children in Palestine. You yeah. Know, usual shit. And they'd superimposed like text that said when will this one-sided monstrosity ever end hmm. uh, my first thought was is he listened to the what simo had to say like three weeks ago i mean you heard it i heard it it was pretty down the line can you summarize Very. in a short people that are supporting people who are putting their two cents into this war hmm. have no idea yeah. regarding to the history of oh, the 100%. actual war yeah agree yeah yeah hmm. and the the whole pr- premise of the whole chat that i had with him was Neither of us have a dog in the fight. Like, we, we don't... Like, uh, either which way, we're not invested in it yep. the way someone born in the region or has political interests in mm, it. Mm. But when you go back far enough, like, these are the... You know, yeah. Here this, are the... This is how it is. Details, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have friends who, like, are very vocal about it, and they're in favour of Israel. Very favour... Uh, yeah. In favour of them. But it's like I try to explain to them, you know, like there's never been a thing, like there's never been a people called Palestinians. And they're like, yes, there has been, even though they're in very favour of Israel. I'm like, well, you obviously don't know what you're talking about. You Like you still just, even though you like you have your own mind made up, you're still believing the stuff that isn't true. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So it's, you A know, lot of misinformation. Yeah, as, exactly. As stand. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. That's the whole... That's what it is these days. Yeah. Misinformation, everyone believes it. The thing, that, no one the thing that, like, that always comes back to me is like, all right, kids are dying in Palestine, it's sad, but what about the other 50 million kids dying all around the world? Like, yeah. Why aren't those people on your mind, only these ones? Mm. That's literally what I said yeah. Like when someone was trying to pull that shit up at a gathering or yeah. party or whatever no, it was Forget that. even that. What about the, the, you know, the 5% of the Australian population that's indigenous that is living you know, in extreme poverty or whatever? Why don't you care about them? What's well, flavor of the month? Yeah. What was what was the last thing? What was the last thing that was heavily marketed? That, Ukraine, 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 definitely. and then now this. That? But this is—I feel like it's kind of already fallen uh, China. off. China, China, Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah, and then that got swept under the rug. Who were they voting for? Who were they backing in that? Taiwan, 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 of course. Yeah. Of course. Well, no. It oh, sorry, Hong Kong, the China, Hong Kong, the Hong Kongese. That was the new one because he called them the Hong Kongese. Hong Kongese, the Hong Kongese. The honkies? The honker honks. The honker tonk man. Taiwan never got aired, did it? Uh, it got swept under the rug pretty quick, but it was aired and then swept under the rug. What aired? Sorry. Taiwan. Like the, the whole Taiwan time. drama. Airtime. Airtime, yeah. It happened very close to Ukraine drama. Oh, yeah, because so they were like, pretty much they're going to swept test under. Test the waters, yeah. yeah, yeah. What was before that? Ho- Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. That was a big one. Prince Andrew. Mm-hmm. Are we talking world, like, yeah. politics, like geopolitics? Big things that would have... Those have been the main ones for a while. Yeah. Things, um, things that the average punter here would have been like hashtagging and retweeting. What was the French riots? The massive French riots? What were they about? Well, some kid was, was killed. By, no, no, no. This was just recently, like a couple months ago. Some kid was killed by two cops, I think. Um, and then it was just like mass riots in France. Killed in, for in, what? Was it justified? Hard to say. I don't know. I don't know the full story. Okay. I don't know enough about what happened. But basically, these teenagers, like the, the the whole Paris was in riot. It was in like cur- like curfews and militaries coming. Knowing in and all them that. though, like knowing these days, the kids probably ran around with an axe, slaughtering but, people. The cops probably <laughs> shot them, and they're yeah, like, "How could you kill the kid?" Well, they were going to the mayor's house at night. Oh, fantastic! And right. like leaving demands. Oh, they knew where he was. They were breaking into high luxury um, car brain company. Oh, good. Uh, oh great! Lots mm. and just did the, the kids die? Cut. 
Huh? The kid's dead? The, with the kid that died? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, he died? Yeah. 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 Oh, fantastic. All right. Go, um, what's up? The latest <laughs> one is um, <laughs> the eco-protesters. Yeah. Win- yeah winner yeah, of the yeah. first. Are getting, are getting yeah. given, like, uh, in specifically Germany. <laughs> yeah. They're putting them in these holes that the, put extreme agony. Um, yeah. There's a word for it. It's like a... Death hold or nothing like that. Yeah, what I'm yeah, thinking. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. picking them up in a specific way where it puts a, a whole bunch of pressure on their joints in Who? their wrist. Yeah, just like protesters. Eco they protesters. Pick them up like this. The cops yeah. are picking them up a specific way. Um, there's the eco protesters that were killed by some dude in Paraguay, I think it was. Was it Paraguay? No, no, Panama? I, I think it's Panama. Okay. He's a retired military dude. How far back are you going? Like a month. This is a month? Yeah, two months ago. We haven't been talking about Taiwan a month ago. Taiwan's always in the news. China's always going it's over It's always their, ongoing, yeah. They're always no going ongoing. over the airspace. In fact, they're talking about Taiwan. No, here we go. One thing that's been catching my uh, sight started popping up on the my women? shorts. They're actually pretty, not bad. <laughs> the women. The women always. <laughs> the one good thing about South Korea that I noticed after the Korean War was they picked up on some American uh, entertainment thingies. And it's been popping up on my shorts lately. Uh, like adult entertainment? What are we talking about? Just like entertainment, sports entertainment and stuff like that. What do you mean? What does that what mean? What are you talking about? Yeah, what does that mean? Um, let me explain. <laughs> what is this? So in South Korea, they have cheerleaders at their baseball games. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they have shorts on, the, like shorts, like on YouTube. It's quite entertaining. And it's a whole industry where they trade cheerleaders to other countries to play, for, like to cheer oh, for other teams. Yeah, yeah. To cheer for other teams. Mm. And I was just like, yeah, there's some, yeah. Do you know South Korea has a, a museum dedicated to the penis? <laughs> yes, I've heard that. Yeah. Mm. What and what? Yes. Yeah. Mm. It's a whole museum dedicated mm. to it. Why? Why? Why do they eat dogs? Why indeed, Ding? Why indeed? Why would you have a- Why would you eat a cow over. Uh, you know, like. You know, why? I don't know. Beef over dog meat? The whole thing. So what's in the museum? Penis. <laughs> Schlongs. Statues, clay statues, pictures. It's framed. of different. It's of humans, animals, everything. Everything. Is, yeah. it, just, is it like contemporary? Like the world's art, biggest knob, like and historical? it's like from a whale. It's contemporary art, so it's not historical. Like, no, there's nothing historical. Oh, maybe about I'm it. thinking of a different one. Then there's an actual one where they have actual. Do I have to look dicks. this up? Yeah, yeah, like okay, from yeah. animals and yeah, that. That's what and it is. like the biggest one. Well, well, maybe it is like artwork as well. Yeah, yeah. Like South that, yeah. Korea. I'm sure they have some historical. South Korean leaders' penises or something on there. The well? Legends of Korea's Haesing Dang Penis Park. Is that the park? Oh, it might be the park, actually, yeah. No, I'm thinking actual museum. It, that might be an open museum. I don't know if that's Korea, though. That could be somewhere else. Uh, ha- Haesing Dang Park, also Feels like called a Dutch Penis thing park. for some reason. It's a park located- I can see the Dutch doing this. Yeah, in Amsterdam, there's heaps of sex museums. I went to it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> The park is noted for its number Could of statues. We go there one statues. day, we see the statue of Dim. <laughs> you said leg up. Why is the leg up? Oh, your favourite royals are back in the news? My favourite royals? Yeah, Megan and um, How are they my favourite? Harold. Hello, Harry. I've got to say. He's a prince, Harry. Consistently, for at least two years. Yes. Harry's face has yeah. been on like a news.com article easily. Like yeah. in with the first five like spots. <laughs> I've, I refuse to click on like any of the links, mm-hmm. like to open it up. They, 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 they're throwing those uh, they those lures at you. <laughs> <dear. laughs> That's not working. Let's try now with Harry and Megan's sister. Change, change, change the bait. Change nah, the bait. it's not working for him. Let's try something Get else. Some bread crumbs on there. I'll have to change it like Harry transitions. You know what I mean? Like and Dean will click. Then I'm like, and enters the Olympic Games. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then it'll be like that meme of, from Harry Potter where he's like, huh? Uh, and then he's like, loses his interest <laughs> again. Dead set. Yeah. He's been consistently he's- like thrown. Yeah. Like in front of us for over a year. Mm-hmm. What is he actually doing that's causing him to be in the news? Because I refuse to open these links. So can I, anyone I don't tell know. me? I don't, no, know, I don't know either. I don't what could he possibly be doing? He's, I mean, he's not doing anything. He retired from Make from a money service. off people who are willing to click on those links. That's why I say that restaurant's going to be shut in a year. Might be. Who knows? They make their money, sell it and done. I'm not criticizing them. Mm. I'm just saying there's no substance anymore. The irony of it, the restaurant. Look, I think the same. It's like you look at Joe Vardy, you look at Nick Janopoulos, you yeah. look at George Capanaras. There's that generation that are there. There's probably enough of them that will go to these places and until Capanaras dies, until he <laughs> dies, yeah, <laughs> or, you know, or they decide you know uh, their material. But even if their material gets old and these people are sick of it, I went to I went to Fifty Cent's concert like last Tuesday, yeah, yeah, 
and the amount of people that were there. Because um, like when I got there, I looked around like, man, there's like all sorts here. And my mate was like, oh, dude, the people I saw in line waiting for merch. Like, you got to understand, 50 Cent dropped. Like, the, it was a Get Rich or Die try, trying final tour, a memori- like, memo- you know, uh, anniversary tour. It's been 20 years since he broke out and in the club became in the club. 20 years. And he goes, you got to remember, I was 18 when the album dropped, right? So I was just hit clubbing age. Yeah. So for me, it's nostalgia of that era. Hip hop fans that would have been in their thirties and forties would have latched onto that album. Yeah. Right? So they would be in their sixties now. And there would have been teenagers that have gone clubbing and still heard the same music. Yeah. So his audience was literally from, you know, eighteen through to the sixties. What are you laughing at? I can just imagine you in the crowd just being like, Holy shit, look at the turnout. The crowd's massive. <laughs> you pan to the crowd and the crowd's like, This isn't the Foo Fighters. <laughs> 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 Foo Fighters. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> 50 cent. <laughs> you must be the warm up. <laughs> it's actually a good show. It's a very good show. You can see why 50 cents still touring, still marketable, still pumping them out. Good like, live performance. Oh, dude, incredible. One of the best gigs I've actually been to when it comes to that sort of shit. I don't know. But I'm the type to spend money to go see shows. I've been in heaps this year. Yeah. Have you? I don't think you would. Have you gone any? I try not to leave the house. <laughs> You see, <laughs> hence I do my best. Very pasty white skin. It is quite pasty, I must say. He's I almost a, am proud of how he, pasty he's due for his regular vitamin D dose injection. I'm still, a little, I'm a little bit olivey here, but then it's just that. And like, olivey, wow. you think that's olivey? I, I said a little bit. You know how? You know how? Like sometimes when you, uh, we had this whole discussion already, but you know sometimes when you marinate them, um, you know how you get those really light brown. These random light little bread, you know, the little ones. What are we talking ones? about? What are you talking olives? about? Olives. Huh? Yeah. Oh. You get those little tiny little ones. Yeah. yeah. They're really light brown. That's yeah. kind of what that is, a little bit. Are no. You ki- no. A little bit. No. I've, that's a white t shirt next to your hand, and the yeah. white t shirt's coming up darker. <laughs> well, this side, I don't disagree Can with. Can you stop that? That side, <laughs> I think, is a little bit of brown. A that, little bit. That's, uh, that's the gully basin tan. <laughs> <laughs> the meth burn. <laughs> the gully basin tan. <laughs> You're fucked. Actually, speaking of holidays, um, are you taking time off? Like when? over the main... No, I just break? get the main days. What about you? No, I didn't get any days off. <laughs> I mean, Dave, your life is a day off. No, it's not. You're in your jocks, dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm comfortable. If you're in your jocks, you're definitely more relaxed than anyone else here. Are you maybe, going down yeah. to Rosebud? Uh, maybe. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to see how things go. Oh, fuck. I don't know. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. The dog is on... Uh, me- he's refusing <coughs> medication now, so it's got to kind of be... Not force-fed to him, but kind of like peanut butter. You going to take him up? No, uh, he's terrible in the car. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And because it's a 50 minute drive, yeah, like he, yeah, yeah. he freaks out just driving like two minutes down the road to the vet. A 50 really? minute, so an hour drive isn't going to work. How does he freak out? Oh, he just starts panting, and because he's got the collapsed trachea, it's too much of a risk. What do you mean, peanut butter? So the peanut butter makes him work it in his mouth, so any tablets inside it just get swallowed automatically because he has to work it because it's sticky. Oh, you mean so you, you peel him with peanut butter? Yeah. Okay, Before you could understand. just throw six pills in a cheese and he just eat it but he's lost a couple of teeth and he just become very suspicious now of tablets really yeah you have you asked if you can melt them down no but we can't because they've got flavors that he can't stand because sometimes uh, he's been into them and he's just like yeah, yeah spat right. it out dogs can become wary of what they're eating oh yeah my oh, dog. Sh- you know what my dog does now well this is all dean's fault too the dumbass you know what he was doing <laughs> Blaming his brother. <laughs> I was like, you put the tablet in the food and then you hand it to him by hand and he eats it. Mm. Yeah, sure, sure. He gets tired of doing that and he starts putting it in the actual food in the bowl. Oh, yeah. So yeah, then yeah, it yeah. melts and the flavour goes, seeps into the food. So he eats it and he gets turned off and now he can see it, smell that food, the medication. And he if, knows it now. He knows it. Yeah. You know what he, the little smart ass does now? <laughs> I'll give him like some chicken or whatever and I'll put the tablet in there. Whatever I give him to him, he'll eat it. He'll put it in his mouth, take a bite out of it, and then throw it on the floor and look at it, yeah, see if there's yeah, a tablet yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll take like a half bite, spit it, look, tablet, no thanks. Are you kidding? 
Mm. Once you've broken that trust that day, it's it's hard yeah. to like trick him again. Yeah. yeah. Little so, bastard. So I'll get a few things through him, like I'll put some cheese and then he'll eat the cheese, but then the next time I try it, you actually hear him. So he's like, Ugh. you actually hear him like, Ugh. so then I have to take it out, put in peanut butter. And for a while, I was force feeding it down his throat. Little trick. I used what? to do it with little feta cube, like little, little yeah. feta cheese cubes. Yeah. I could do the first one with no tablet. Yeah. And then once they get the thing going and they're like, yeah, I want another one. Yeah. You jam it in there. You're like, yeah, yeah, take it quick. Well, that's what we do with the peanut butter because it's kind of, he likes the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because I even started doing the pill, uh, the pill um, tablets. Mm. So it's like a pill case. So it's like you put it in and then you cover it back up. Yeah, because yeah. he's lost a couple teeth, he has to work the food more in his mouth. Wouldn't he feel it if he was putting it in a peanut butter? Wouldn't he like... You know, because it's sticky. It's sticky. It's as soon as it's in the mouth, he has to work it down. He can't... The dogs can't spit out peanut butter. Because it's so... Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. They said either that or butter. And I didn't want to, you know... Crafty little pricks. Peanut butter is good for I them. I have so. no idea that it'd, oh. be, it'd know enough to like spit it out. Oh yeah, they're smarter than you at fifteen. Dogs are smarter than me at fifteen. Yeah. Bullshit. No. I'm... So dogs are essentially fifteen-year-olds. I would say so. Yeah. His dog has cunning, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> manipulative. <laughs> so he he won the battle of the wits against Dean. <laughs> As far as who's got more patience, who's going to out like, like we sit use and common the tablet <laughs> more? Yeah, we'll use common sense, right? And they'll be like picking no. apart in yeah. their brain the best way or what they're doing. Or tr- like, I know you're trying to trick me. Like, they'll figure it all out. You, you'll just use common sense, which is probably going to be wrong in the end. It's 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 fucked. So uh, it's like a puzzle. Yeah. I remember my old man telling me once um, he had my sister's dog, and. Like, the rule was always dogs outside, yeah? Like, mm. it's not an indoor dog. And then eventually the old man, like, caved. And, like, when it was cold, you know, like, he'd bring the dog if it was a storm. He was, like, he'd fucking see him at the back door, like, sticking his head in. Just, you yeah, know? yeah. It's like, ah, for fuck's sake. So yeah. he's opened the door. And he, he said to me once, he'd let him in for, like, an hour or two during a really bad storm. And he's let him in just to... And he said the dog would come in and just sort of scope the house out, then get let out again. Just, a, like, peace of mind sort of thing. And he goes, one day... He let him in just to get comfortable and then fuck off again. And as he's, like, watching him, the dog's, like, half-stepping it and just slowing it down and, like, cranking its neck like he's checking out the walls and just, like, just just half-paced. Purposely it. prolonging yeah. the exit. Yeah. And the old man was looking, he was like, what are you doing? Like, this motherfucker is delaying yeah. the walk back outside. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, now that you mention it. It's crazy how smart they are. Yeah. It's actually crazy. <laughs> it's- is it just dogs, though? That's yeah. Like, yeah. Why? Because they've evolved that way. Like, they've evolved Through domestication. With us. Yeah. They know what buttons to push. Like, they j- it's just installed in their brain or some shit at birth. They just know what to what to do. There's freaking, like, cases of, like, people bringing their dogs to the vet. My dog has a cough. So, the vet looks at it, does tests, runs thousands of dollars of tests on it, like, your dog is perfectly fine. Yeah. Why is it, what happens when it coughs? Well, I give it this. Well, you've taught your dog to basically pretend to have a cough. Yeah. And you give it food or something to shut it up. You, you're rewarding it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Are you serious? Yeah. It's Fuck. a reward-based system. Fucking snakes. Yeah. Mm. I always said that if I was a cop, I'd love to be a dog handler, like a canine unit, just because the ultimate joy, like, I told you this a while ago and you said, why? Um... One thing I've been watching, binging heaps of, is like either sovereign citizen videos or mm. like drunks that have been taken down by cop units. And I figured it out why. I figured out why I watch these a lot. It's to tell myself that you're not that stupid, yeah, and you're, yeah. Not, you're not that lazy, and you're not that. Your life's not that bad. I'm not. Not that. Not that my life isn't bad, but me as a person, mm. despite whatever I've done, I'm not that fucking dumb. Yeah, or I'm not yeah. That, you're not Florida to, man. To be one of these Florida idiots, man. yeah. <laughs> To be one of these idiots yelling about their rights yeah. while they're getting tackled to the ground by cops. Yeah. For you me, can't do that! Yeah. yeah, I didn't give permission! Like, <laughs> they don't need permission, you dickhead. Like, you're a scofflaw now. <laughs> it's, to me, it's the most satisfying thing yeah. when they're getting, like, some idiot is, like, handcuffed behind their back, feet like, um, what's it called? Bound. Hog-tied. Mm. Yeah? And they're yelling things like, I did not give consent, untie, like, let me go. Like, dude, you can yell yourself out. Nothing's going to change. Then a body cam goes off for two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Comes back on, the guy's got a bloody yeah. face, broken jaw. A slight glitch in time, like a <laughs> lapse of 14 seconds. <laughs> hey, I was wondering about that. Do they, they can turn it off when they go to the toilet, yeah? Yeah, because body cams. Yeah. yeah. They can turn it off for whatever reason, but it'd be noted that they've turned oh, it off. Oh, okay. 
As in, if they have to turn it off because a woman's got her top off or something, yeah, then they can out of thing. But it'll be noted the body cam was turned off. So it's sketchy. So there's a re- like, yeah. why was the cam turned off? Because they get knocked off as well. Yeah. And then that's, you know. It's in priority to make sure it's up and like on their yeah, body, yeah. whatever. Anyway, um, where was I going with this? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the canine unit. Ah. So one thing I wanted to do was be part of that canine unit. Yeah. And for me, like the, um, like it's satisfying watching these idiots get thrown to the ground and like, you know, hogtied. Yeah. But I feel like you already have a bond with the dog, right? Because if you become a canine unit, in, uh, like operative, you need to build the bond with the dog. It's your dog, essentially. It's your dog, mm. yeah. Like it has to trust you. You have to trust it. You learn its tells. You learn its commands. Yeah. It learns to obey you. So I feel like it'd be like a buddy that would help you bust these Muppets? Yeah. I feel like it'd be really satisfying being able to sick a dog. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Either Go for the crutch. S- yeah. <laughs> I don't mean. I don't it'd, it'd be like tag teaming with a mate and like yeah. taking something out. But the fact that it's a dog and you've trained it as well, I think just gets to the next level. They train them to go for the arms and the legs, don't they? Yeah. Well, no, that's where they... Um, it depends. That's where they train the dog, but they don't train them specifically to target the arms and legs. Oh. Yeah. What do they train them for? The bite. <laughs> the, they, they're practicing the bite but what they do is they hold the part out so that the dog can easily grab it but when a crook's running they're not going to hold their arm out with a big padded thing on it yeah um so the, the bite is the training part it's bite force how the dog reacts how it's being alert to what the person's doing as it's biting them and then releasing and stuff like that that's all the training part but yeah they don't tell them to bite the arm they just want the the goal is to grab on and hold until your guy tells you to let go. And they let go straight away, too. Oh. Maybe a second or two delay, mil- but they yeah, let go. Milliseconds. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. so, like, on the ball, man. Yep. It's amazing how, like, they... How long do, they, how long do service dogs, like... Service Six dogs? years, I think. And they're, what, burnt out? They retire them. They become service dogs, don't they? No. They live with the handler. They get adopted. They, they live with the handler the whole time. Really? Yeah, that's their dog. The handler essentially takes the dog. That's what I was saying. They own the dog, essentially. So, what, even at night, like, it stays with you? Yeah, that's it. It's your family dog. No. Yes. I, I, I'm, yeah. I, I'm ignorant on this. Then they retire them. They give them just the best life, in, you know, for the next six years or whatever it is. But six years is what they retire at from memory. Hmm. Okay. Okay.